the Freedmen. Mike, no, Mo. Mike, no, Mo. Uh, this is a lovely, very simple device uh, that will just help get your amp signal into a recording uh, interface of your your liking, really. Um, what you got here is on one side, you plug your guitar head into the from amp, and you plug your two speaker into the speaker. Now, just to be very clear, you still need to have the two speaker and have a speaker or a load device connected, or you will probably damage your amp. Now, you flip this bad boy around, and this is the part that goes out to your interface or your DAW or your console, your live console. There's only a few controls on here, so there's not much to think about. You've got your ground lift, so if it's going bzzz, bzzz, sometimes that'll uh, solve the problem. Um, there, this is a tone switch, the axis, center, and edge, um, simulating a microphone more towards the center of the cone or more to the edge of the cone. Edge is going to be warmer center is going to be brighter. Same as if you're moving a microphone. And then the level gives you a minus 10 or minus 30. So if you're coming in hot, you switch it over to minus 30. If you need more volume, you go to minus 10. Simple. All right, I'm all plugged in. I have the BE100 plugged into the mic nomo. Now from the mic nomo, it helps to go into like a preamp and um, most of us um, will be using probably an interface that has built-in mic levels something. So you plug it in, you have a gain control. So that'll help, especially if you want to keep the volume of the amp down a little bit, like if you're in a studio setting. Then you could lift the gain level and the volume of the mic nomo with the mic preamp. So right now I'm going into uh, one of my favorites, the Overstayer uh, preamp and I'm getting extra gain from that. If I didn't and I went straight into an interface without a, a mic control, it's very low. And in software, you might get a little noise. So it, it's better to go into some sort of front end preamp. Like I said, most of your interfaces will have that built in. I have no EQ put on right now, uh, but for me, you put a little EQ on this bad boy and it starts sounding really great. So, um, but I'm going to show it to you without any EQ, and then I'll put on some EQ and um, show you what it's capable of. Mike Nomo, the E100, and this is set on the edge setting. So this is going to be the warmer setting. So let's go over to the axis zone here. And can you hear? It got much more present. Let me just adjust the amp. edge got much darker there uh, as it would happen if you moved an SM57 over so now I'm gonna reach for my trusty EQ on the on the preamp for me. Um, 
So the master on the BE is at one. That's that's not not too bad. It's not shaking the walls. But what happens if we do turn it up? That's sounding pretty good. Certainly it's direct, so you're missing a little air, but geez, man, it's good. So with a little uh, backed off the gain, a little cleaner tone, there's no EQ coming off of the preamp. This is all mic no mo filter. Uh, we're on the edge setting, which is the darker one, uh, which is my preferred setting there. Uh, and uh, it sounds good on this. I'm gonna throw some, I'll play it dry, and then I'll throw some effects on and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing there. Let me do it again with some effects. So I'm gonna show you one other really cool way to use your mic no mo. Um, I have the BE-100 it's going straight to a guitar cabinet, mic'd up with a microphone. Everything's cool, everything's normal. The mic no mo is in line. Where is it? There it is. So I have the mic no mo with a fancy XLR to quarter inch cable going into my little reverb effect of, uh, of choice here, the Source Audio Ventress, uh, which is super cool and you could plug into an entire array of rack effects or pedal boards or whatever coming out stereo that is going into my interface uh, I have it on a hundred percent so this is basically a wet dry wet rig Ta -da! so I'm recording the live signal and then I've got all my effects coming with the uh, Mike Nomo cab simulation and I'm getting all my wet effects and I'm recording three channels into Logic and I'll have total control over my effects. So there you have it guys, the Mike Nomo from Friedman Amplification. This is a great tool, especially if you and microphones don't really get along. Um, it's a good little workhorse guy in the studio and it could easily and probably should easily slip into your live rig. So um, yeah, and the price is right. So check it out, the Mike Nomo from Friedman. <laughs>